Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series ASME 8 Division 1 Rules for Construction of Pressure Vessels In this lecture, we will discuss welded joint category and efficiency determination as per the following referenced code paragraphs. UW3. Welded joint category. The term, category, as used herein defines the location of a joint in a vessel, but not the type of joint. The joints included in each category are designated as category A, B, C, and D, as illustrated in below diagram. UW3A Categoria Longitudinal and spiral welded joints within the main shell communicating chambers transitions in diameter or nozzles Any welded joint within a sphere within a formed or flat head or within the side plates of a flat sided vessel any but welded joint within a flat tube sheet. Circumferential welded joints connecting hemispherical heads to main shells, to transitions in diameters, to nozzles, or to communicating chambers. This diagram shows category. A. Joints. Category A includes all longitudinal welds and critical circumferential welds such as hemispherical head to main shells, formed heads other than hemispherical to main shells welds consider category B. UW3B. Category. B. Circumferential welded joints within the main shell. Communicating chambers, nozzles, or transitions in diameter including joints between the transition and a cylinder at either the large or small end. Circumferential welded joints connecting formed heads other than hemispherical to main shells, to transitions in diameter, to nozzles, or to communicating chambers. This diagram shows Category B. Joints. Category B includes the most circumferential welded joints including formed heads other than hemispherical to main shells welds UW3C category C welded joints connecting flanges van stone laps tube sheets or flat heads to main shell formed heads Transitions in diameter, nozzles, or communicating chambers. Any welded joint connecting one side plate to another side plate of a flat sided vessel. As per Endnote 66, side plates of a flat sided vessel are defined as any of the flat plates forming an integral part of the pressure containing enclosure. This diagram shows Category C. Joints. Category C includes the welded joints connecting flanges to nozzles, or shell components and one side plate to another in a flat-sided vessel.
UW3D Category D Welded joints connecting communicating chambers or nozzles to main shells to spheres to transitions in diameter to heads or to flat-sided vessels and nozzles to communicating chambers As per EndNote 65, communicating chambers are defined as appurtenances to the vessel which intersect the shell or heads of a vessel and form an integral part of the pressure-containing enclosure, for example sumps. This diagram shows Category D joints. Category D includes welded joints connecting nozzles to main shells. Heads are flat-sided vessels. Example 1. Label these weld joints by category A, B, C or D. Solution Example 1 as illustrated clearly on diagram. Example 2. A pressure vessel flange to nozzle joint is considered a welded joint category. Answer is C. Example 3. What welded joint category applies when a seamless hemispherical head is welded to a seamless cylindrical shell of pressure vessel? Answer is A. UW12. Joint efficiencies. We will discuss joint type per table UW12. Eight joint types are identified in table UW12. Type 1 has the highest efficiency, and type 6 has the lowest efficiency. Types 7 and 8 have no assigned efficiency. Types 1 through 3 are butt joints. Types 4 through 6 are lap joints. Type 7 is a corner joint. Type 8 is an angle joint. Only types 1 and 2 butt joints may be radiographed in order to improve efficiency. Type number 1. Butt joints is attained by double welding. Or by other means that will obtain the same quality of deposited weld metal on the inside and outside weld surfaces to agree with the requirements of UW35. Welds using metal backing strips that remain in place are excluded. Type number 2. Single welded butt joint with backing strip. Type number 3. Single welded butt joint without backing strip. Type number 4. Double full fillet lap joint. Type number 5. Single full fillet lap joint with plug welds. Type number 6. Single full fillet lap joint without plug welds. Table UW12. Maximum allowable joint efficiencies. For welded joints. 
to determine the joint efficiencies. E for welded joints as per table UW12. You must to know joint type number, joint category, and extent of radiographic or ultrasonic examination full, spot or none. Only types 1 and 2 butt joints may be radiographed in order to improve efficiency. As shown in general note, E equals 1 for butt joints in compression. As per note 8, there is no joint efficiency E in the design equations of this division for category C and D corner joints. When needed, a value of E not greater than 1 to be used. Please note that Table UW12 column A Full used when 100% RT all butt joints per UW11 A and if nameplate stamped RT1 100% RT for thickness exceed table UCS57 100% RT of all category A and D but welded joints over their entire length if nameplate stamped RT2. In that case, we using the criteria in UW51. Table UW12 column B spot used when spot RT butt joints per UW11 B and if nameplate stamped RT3. In that case, we using the criteria in UW52. Table UW12 column C used when for welded joints that are neither fully radiographed nor spot radiographed. Non RT or visual examination welded joints. Spot RT requirements of UW11A5B are met. Shell to head welding joint. If nameplate stamped RT2. Example 1. What is the maximum allowable joint efficiency for weld metal type 2? Category A received radiographic examination. If nameplate stamped RT1? Answer is C. Example 2. What is the maximum allowable joint efficiency for joint type 1? Category A received radiographic examination, if nameplate stamped RT1. Answer is D. As per UW27B. E equals joint efficiency for, or the efficiency of, appropriate joint in cylindrical or spherical shells, or the efficiency of ligaments between openings, whichever is less. As illustrated in diagram, if the shell have but joint and ligaments, we using lowest efficiency of but joint and ligaments. In this case E equals 0.65. Spot radiography. UW11B. Spot RT. Applies for type 1 and 2 which are not required to be fully radiographed by UW11A. Applies for vessel to be stamped RT3. If spot RT is specified for the entire vessel. Radiographic examination is not required of category B and C but welds in nozzle and communicating chambers that design diameter not exceeds NPS 10 and wall thickness not exceeds 1 and an eighth in spot RT using the criteria in UW 52. 
Joint efficiency E from table UW12 column B. UW11A 5B spot RT optional. Applies where there are no mandatory requirements for RT. Applies for head to shell joints and circumferential shell joints in vessel to be stamped RT2. There are two common reasons why a designer would apply UW11A5B option. To enhance the efficiency of seamless heads and or shell sections. To offer their customer a less expensive, but adequate, level of NDE. Spot RT using the criteria in UW52. Joint efficiency e from table UW12 column C. Spot RT required by UW11A5B shall not be used to satisfy spot RT as applied to UW11B. So, you cannot take credit twice. UW12D. How to determine the efficiencies, e. of seamless vessel sections or heads. E equals 1. For seamless shell and seamless heads when. The spot radiography requirements of UW11A5B are met. For examples. If the vessel to be stamped RT1 or RT2. Seamless head to shell joint with 100% radiography. Seamless head to shell joint with spot radiography per UW11A5B. E equals 0.85. For seamless shell and seamless heads when. The spot radiography requirements of UW11 A, 5, B, are not met. Or the category. A or B welds connecting are type number. 3, 4, 5, 6, or 8 of table UW12. For examples. If the vessel to be stamped RT3. Seamless head to shell joint with spot radiography per UW11B. Seamless head to shell using a category B type 3 joint with no radiography. Special efficiencies of heads. As per UG 32B. E equals lowest efficiency of any joint in the head. For hemispherical heads this includes head to shell joint. For example, the seamless shell and seamless hemispherical head circumferential butt welded joints are attached by double welding has E equals 0.70. Determine the E of hemispherical heads. As illustrated in figure. Head to shell has efficiency E equals 0.70. And as per UW12D, head has efficiency E equals 0.85. As per UG32B, the lowest efficiency E can only used, so hemispherical head's efficiency E equals 0.70. UW33. A1A. E equals 1. For ellipsoidal and torospherical heads. Under pressure on the convex side. As illustrated clearly in diagram. Also as per table UW12, general note. E equals 1 for butt joints in compression. UG116. Required marking. UG116. E. 
when radiographic or ultrasonic examination has been performed on a vessel in accordance with UW11. Marking shall be applied under the certification mark as RT1, RT2, RT3, or RT4. Please note that the extent of radiography and the applicable joint efficiencies shall be noted on the manufacturer's data report. UG116. E1. RT1. Full designation indicates that the radiograph of UW11 -A has been complied with, so 100% RT of all butt welded joints over their entire length using the criteria in UW51. 100% RT of category B and C butt weld in nozzle and communicating chambers that design diameter exceeds NPS 10 DN 250 and wall thickness exceeds 1 and an eighth in 29 mm. RT1 examples As illustrated in the vertical vessel, 100% RT of all butt welded joints over their entire length. NPS 12 inches. Weld neck flange. Category C, RT required. 1. 1 8 thick. NPS 10. Weld neck flange. Category C, no RT required. Longitudinal weld category A. RT required. Zero point seven five inches thick. NPS six inches. Weld neck flange. Category C. No RT required. Example two for RT one. As per illustrated in the horizontal vessel. Using seamless shell and seamless heads. Plus 100% RT of circumferential head to shell joints. A vessel complying with either plan will be 100% efficient for both components having type 1 welded joints. As per table UW12 column A. And seamless head. Or shell sections as per UW12 D. UG116. E2. RT2. When the complete vessel satisfies the requirements of UW11. A5. And when the spot radiography requirements of UW11. A5B have been applied, so. 100% RT of all category A and D. But welded joints over their entire length using the criteria in UW51. Spot RT of all category B and C. But welded joints per UW11. A5B using the criteria in UW52. Please note that. Depending on the welded joint type employed for welded components. The efficiency will normally be established by a category A or D butt welded joint. The efficiency for spot RT of category B or C butt welded joint determined as per table UW12 column C and not table UW12 column B. RT2 examples. Example 1 as per illustrated in vertical vessel. 100% RT of longitudinal shell joints. And spot RT of all circumferential joints. Example 2 as per illustrated in horizontal vessel. Seamless shell. And only spot RT of all circumferential joints. 
a vessel complying with either plan will be 100% efficient for both components having type 1 welded joints as per table UW12 column A and seamless head or shell sections as per UW12B. So, longitudinal shell joints, type 1, and seamless heads, E equals 1. Please note that, spot RT per UW11A5B, not UW11B. Circumferential shell joints, E, as per table, UW12 column C. Head to shell joints, E, as per table UW12 column C. Seamless shell and seamless heads, E equals 1. UG116, E3, RT3. When the complete vessel satisfies the spot radiography requirements of UW11B, so spot RT of butt welded joints per UW11B using the criteria in UW52. No RT required for any butt weld in nozzle and communicating chambers. Depending on the welded joint type employed for welded components, the efficiency will normally be established by butt welded joint as per table UW12 column B. UW11A5B cannot be applied with RT3. RT3, example. As illustrated in the diagram. One spot shall be examined on each vessel for each 50 feet 15 meters increment of weld. Or fraction. Thereof for which a joint efficiency from table UW12 column B. So, spot RT butt joints type 1 and seamless heads E equals 0.85 UG116 E4 RT4 when only part of the complete vessel has satisfied the radiographic requirements of UW11A or where none of the markings RT1, RT2, or RT3 are applicable, so RT4 means some radiographic examination took place. Put the amount or location does not satisfy an RT1, RT2, or RT3 condition. RT4, example as illustrated in the vertical vessel. A vessel is constructed of a carbon steel P number 1 and group number 1. Only part of the vessel has been radiographed due to a thickness limit being exceeded as listed in table UCS 57. Or the desire to use E equals 1. As illustrated in the table UCS 57, if vessel is constructed of P number 1 group number 1, 100% RT required if the thickness exceed 1.25 inches. 32 mm. So, thickness equals 1.25 inches. No RT required. Full RT for thickness exceed 1.25 in, 32 mm. For P number 1 per table UCS 57. E equals 1, if butt joints type 1. Review questions. Question number 1. The repair of a pressure vessel involves replacement of a seamless ellipsoidal head. What is the joint category of the head to shell weld?
Answer is B. Question number two. What is the correct category for longitudinal and spiral welded joints within the main shell of a pressure vessel? Answer is A. Question number three. Which of the following is a category D welded joint in a pressure vessel? Answer is D. Question number four. When radiographic examination has been performed on a pressure vessel in accordance with UW11, what marking shall be applied to the nameplate when the complete vessel satisfies the requirements of UW11? A5, and when the spot radiography requirements of UW11? A5B have been applied. Answer is B. Question number 5. When radiographic examination has been performed on a pressure vessel in accordance with UW11, what marking shall be applied to the nameplate when the complete vessel satisfies? The spot radiography requirements of UW11. B. Answer is C. Question number six. Pressure vessel is fabricated of S. A. 516. Grade. 70 material, 1 and 3 quarters inches thick with category A, type 1 longitudinal seams. What degree of radiographic examination is required? Answer is A. Question number 7. During the rapier of pressure vessel, a seamless ellipsoidal head is replaced. The nameplate stamped RT2. The replacement head attached using a single welded but joint with a backing strip that will be left in place. One weld preforms the weld. What is the joint type head to shell weld? Answer is B. Question number 8. What is the weld joint type for a pressure vessel designed with no radiography using a single welded butt joint without backing strips? Not verified as meeting UW35. Answer is C. Question number 9. When reviewing a pressure vessel design which includes radiography, what weld joints will provide an increase in the joint efficiency when radiographed? Answer is B. Question number 10. What is the maximum allowable joint efficiency for weld metal type 2 not received radiographic examination? And if nameplate stamped RT4? Answer is A. Question number 11. What is the value of E used in the formula of a seamless torospherical head welded to a pressure vessel shell? Using a category B type 3 joint with no radiography. Answer is C. Question number 12. 
A two-piece ellipsoidal head is constructed with a type 1 welded joint and with no radiography. What is the allowable joint efficiency for head with pressure on the convex side? Answer is D. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.